Hello, my name is Carlos Morales. Uh, in this very short video, we're going to show you how to use NeuralSpot to connect your EVB to your laptop or PC and use it as a kind of an integrated component using remote procedure calls. Um, so we assume for this video that you've already uh, cloned the NeuralSpot repo. If you haven't and you need to see how that's done, there's another video for that. Um, first thing we'll do is come over here and edit the basic example. It has RPC and uh, support built in, but it's turned off by the switch. So we'll just enable that switch. Save, do a make, that should pick up the change. Now, before uh, we deploy it, let's, let's go over here and look at our uh, USB devices. So you can see there's only one USB device mounted on this laptop. That's the one that JLink uses to communicate and control. And when we do a flash, um, that's what's used. So we're going to make deploy. That will deploy this model that we just built. It's flashing. Um, I'll, I'll do a make view here and uh, hit the reset button on the EVB. All right, so now it's saying start the PC side server, then press zero to uh, get started. Now what happened is as soon as it did that, um, this other device showed up. So now this device is listening for remote procedure calls and the, the example script that we have running uh, that, that we've created and included with NeuralSpot um, does multiple things using this kind of generic interface. But one of the things is um, if it recognizes it, this is a, uh, audio data, it'll capture into a wave file. So here we go, we start the server. Um, server started, now you can go back to the EVP and press zero. Now, what this is doing is it's telling uh, everything is kind of hooked up and ready to go. When I record using my handy dandy microphone, and say down, it recognizes down, but also if you look over here, it says it captured one second. And I'll keep doing that as, as you go. So up and up. That's, um, this is kind of a demo, but it's extremely useful if you're trying to debug a model that's running on your laptop, you haven't really deployed it yet on your um, on your EVB, or the other way, if you have a model running on the EVB and you want to compare the results to your model running on a laptop. There's multiple different ways that this could be useful. Um, and then over here, before I go, let's control C, that's maybe not so pretty. And you can see that there is now a WAV file that you can play using your normal WAV playing tools. All right, that was quick. Uh, maybe 90, to 90 seconds, two minutes, and that's how you get audio data very cleanly and easily off your EVP.